Hey, and tonight's Phil, and it's my mum. Hello. So, <laughs> got back from Clatterbridge today, and this was my second radiotherapy session. Um, and my mum actually got to see on the closed circuit TV, and so some of the doctors, well, well, the radiographers there, were able to talk you through it as it was happening to me. So, what did you see, mum? Um, it was good. I, I just uh, went up to the desk and I said, oh, are you watching him from there? And uh, they said, yep, yeah, come and round and have a look. And there was all these computer screens. And there was a CAT scan and, one, wasn't there? Yeah, CAT scan that they were doing, a, 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 also an MRI type. Really? They were putting uh, together. Would, and... would the MRI not be like an old one? That they were just Probably, using as reference. Maybe, but they yeah. were joining it together. Okay. They were also using like a red line thing that was being sort of moved very slowly mm -hmm. to get a precise position. Yeah. And could see you lying down uh, by the machines, saw the machine moving, mm -hmm. all on these computer screens, yeah. and also a close-up of you, close-up of your mask. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but it does imprint on your skin a bit. Um, kind of dark. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but I thought that was really kind of them to do that because it was quite reassuring. It made me feel like I was in the room with you because all these three screens had pictures of you. Everywhere. Well, they were very nice people, especially that younger guy. Yeah, he was um very um informative, um and um. Something I noticed today as well, which I'm not sure about, and I'll have to ask on Friday. Uh, oh, by the way, on Friday, we might actually get to film from Mum's perspective what she would have seen today. Because uh, we did speak to them at the end if if the radiographers would be um, okay about us including them in our vlog. And they accepted and said lots of people do that, and it's a really yeah. good thing. So... Hopefully on Friday we'll get that filmed. Mm -hmm. um, so tomorrow's day tomorrow, nineteen, you're vlog nineteen. Not going yeah, not, I'm not having radiotherapy tomorrow because the machine that I use is down for maintenance. So what they will do is just add an extra day on at the end of my treatment. Also, your machine is called Elm. Elm. Because yeah. they're all named after trees. Yeah, different types of trees. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the waiting area was, you know, it's quite small, but there was a guy that was kind enough to let you sit down and all that. Yeah. Um, and, and then, like, say, they let me come round the desk with them, and they yeah. were trying to sort of tell me different things, but yeah. I found that a bit... <laughs> Hard to understand. Can you not remember what they said? Because no. information is like... That's why I think we need to yeah, film Yeah, definitely it. <laughs> need to film it next time. Because yeah. the more information I get, the better I feel. Mm. Um, in, term, are... in terms of what's happening to me in the treatment. They were talking to your mum, so... <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, I think you did great. <laughs> And you got, and you're not so camera shy anymore. I remember when I first started doing these vlogs, you were like, "Oh, don't film me." <laughs> I know, that's hiding. <laughs> yeah, you're only speaking to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need a haircut as well. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you start losing some of yours, I should lose some too. <laughs> go shorter. <laughs> you're gonna go for a full-on bob. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. I've still got my scar. Yeah. Canyon. Um. I still think that I will lose my hair around my ear that you can see there, because when I come out, that's generally where it itches the most. Right. Um. Which could be a good thing if it happen if it does happen there, because you know that you, your ear is in the way of 
some of the hair loss then. Mm. Although, like I've said on a lot of these vlogs, I really don't care about hair loss. The most important thing on my journey is just living as long as possible. Long-term survival and never giving up. Um, yeah, um, I I did fall asleep again today because um, I always have the lights out and the music playing. Same one today was Aerials by Bent. You quite like that music, didn't mm, you? <laughs> I could hear it. It was lovely. Yeah. And, um, but something I noticed, uh, I did open my eyes for a short while and I noticed through the mask, the actual bit where the x-ray comes out of has this, has these sort of like, it's a weird shape. Like It's a hole, but it's a weird shape. And I don't know whether that is the shape of what the tumour was or something or if it's the shape of... Um, uh, the sort of cavity that was taken out during brain surgery. I'm I'm not too sure. I'll have to ask him about mm. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only problem is, is when I'm not allowed to film beyond that control room because basically there's a long snaking corridor that takes you down into the actual bit where I'm getting my radiotherapy. Um, but we can't take cameras down there, so. But you could see everything on all those. Yeah. So on Friday, screens. you'll be able to see everything that's happening to me when I'm having my radiotherapy. Um, we had another driver today uh, called uh, John, and he was really nice. Mm. Uh, and he seemed uh, very uh, positive as well. Well, keeping us positive, which is mm. always good. Um, even the radiographers were saying a lot of things to you that were, sounded very positive, like, because you were... You were worried about the fact that there's a lot of my tumour that might get stuck there forever. And they, were, they said that sometimes they're surprised, they're surprised how much they can get rid of. You know. Sometimes it does shrink. Mm. So, fingers crossed. Yep. Well, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there then. So, yep. um, see you later, Internet. Bye.